Hi. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Spirit Journey. Today is April 28, 2015, and it is now 4.24 p.m. Today I want to talk about DNA. Uh, I might have mentioned one of my past um, videos that I did my, my DNA some years back, and I just got the results from my mom. I talked my mom into doing her DNA, and I'm really excited that she said yes, and I got the result just a couple of days ago. Why I'm doing this video is that I will, it's part of my spirit journey, and I believe that in doing, you know, in discovering who I am, is to also know what, what DNA I, I inherited, okay? So, well, the other thing is that um, I got results from my mom that was very surprising. I mean, I shouldn't say that I'm really surprised, but I don't have an explanation for it. And it's to show you that the difference between science and oral history, you know, that they may not add up. And, you know, so, well, I'll just show you, um, I'll show you my DNA first, you know, I did my DNA with Family Tree DNA, and then I'll show you my mom's, okay, I'm shooting this on my iPhone, and uh, so please forgive me if it doesn't come out clear, um, but I'll do the best that I can, so I'm going to use my iPhone to show you the my laptop computer um, the DNA results okay so let me show you so okay let's see if I can get in there mm. trying to get my get it clear okay so this is me and as you can see it is what do you call 53% African, 46% European, and 2% Middle Eastern. Okay, and then they allow you to do what they call a breakdown. So I'm using my other finger now, I'm going to expand it. Okay, so what just happened now is it's doing a breakdown. So so for the Africa, African, it's saying that it is 47% um, West Africa and 6% Central Africa. And then for Europe, it has um, what you call uh, Western and Central Europe of 46%. And then, oh wow, they did another change on my thing. Okay, Middle Eastern, it says 2%. I'm sorry, Asia Minor uh, is 2%. That's, you know, where Turkey is, in, at least in my example. Okay, so that's it. So I hope it's coming out clear. So that's me. And then I'm going to also show you the screen here. Okay. Hope it can show. Okay, so what you're looking at now is Africa and then I'll see, and that thing in red, that portion there is part of Europe, West and Central Europe, which is also my other breakdown. Okay. And then let's see, the Middle East is they're referring to Turkey that, you know, that peninsula there. You can barely see it. Let me see, sometimes if you highlight, let's see. If you highlight it, it might get darker. Let's see. Okay, so I highlighted that turkey. It's supposed to be like a slight pink color, okay? 
You can hardly see it. But that's the, that, that's the other one. So what I want to show you basically with this, you scroll it up. So this is what it looks like. Africa. Let's see. So I just clicked on it to make it darker. So you can really see it more pronounced here. Okay. So as you can see, um, my 53% uh, African DNA um, is, you know, primarily from here. And you see it's in different colors. It's in orange. And the darker orange means the, the more concentrated area where the D DNA seems to be very popular. And then it fades out, meaning that it's less concentrated, the, the DNA sample. And then you see here, it goes down, and then another concentrated orange area in the south. Okay. When I first saw this, I was very surprised. But you know, with the transatlantic slave trade, they, they primarily guide us from West Africa. And so, and what, but what you're seeing here is that um, th they have the what's called the Bantu people. It's a tribe in Africa, and that they originated up here, and then they migrated down there. So a branch, the genetic branch, went down here. Okay, so I don't actually come from there, but a. Uh, gen genetic ancestors did go down there and then you know the transatlantic slave trade got me from here somewhere and to the Caribbean okay and then for Europe let me scroll that down I'm trying to scroll that down so in Europe what's in red there um, the central the, the part that is the dark, the darkest red portion is um, in Switzerland, and that does kind of that does um, uh, coincide with uh, oral history and this book that one of my relatives on my mother's side uh, had showed me uh, th their surname and uh, that particular surname um, originated in Switzerland. So I was surprised when I heard that but DNA is confirming that okay so that's my half okay and I want to now show you my mom okay so let me click on my mother's okay so I'm going to show you my mom's now okay I'm going to cover her name though so but this is my mommy this is her breakdown. Let me see if I could get him. Yeah. Okay. I hope you can see it. I'm trying to really show it. Okay. So, if you can't, if it's not coming out clear, what it's saying is Europe is uh, 65 percent. And then the breakdown of Europe is, let's see, 36% Western and Central Europe. And then Southern Europe is 20, looks like 26%. And then as for Africa, Africa is 36%. And with that, West Africa, that looks like 31%. And then East Central Africa, 4%. Okay? And then this is what it looks like on the screen. Okay? So, so I'm just moving it so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So let's see what we're showing here. So, um... With this, what's in, what's up here, is the same as what my DNA showed, um, Central and Western Europe, almost identical. But then notice down here, this kind of fuchsia color, 
That is the Mediterranean. Okay. Okay, that's that's the Mediterranean area. And mine does not reflect that. Even though my mother's... Um, okay, they, they call that Southern Europe. That's 26%. Okay? That's what that says. It says 26%. But I don't have that. Okay? And my mother also does not have... Um, Middle Eastern, what they in my part would be Asia Minor. See, this is Turkey here. Okay, it's nothing there. Okay. And then scroll for Africa. Sorry. But for Africa, it's it's pretty much identical as mine. Okay, and that's in in like a light blue. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, so why I'm sharing this is that, okay, now as I showed you on the, on the screen that, um, most of my mother's and my DNA, you know, on the, the map, it looks the same. The the what what's covered in Africa looks pretty much identical. She has um, what do you call that? She has two percent more. No, I'm sorry. She has two percent less East Africa. And, and like she has four percent, and I have six percent East Africa. Oh, uh, but that's so, that's so slight, and. Um, the the West Africa I have uh, considerably more than she has, but the region though looks identical. Okay, that that Bantu um, migration, you know, the concentration. It looks, you know, on on the screen, it looks the same. But what was what was really telling though, and why I'm sharing this video, is the part about um, the Mediterranean. Now. She's clearly my mother, and um, but you know she has twenty six percent, and the, and this DNA test is saying in one generation that your DNA evidence of a particular um, ancestry can be removed. I thought this was really telling. I said, "Wow, I mean." 26% is equivalent to one of my mother's grandparents, you know, one of the four was at least, you know, a, from the Mediterranean, genetically speaking. So, I mean, whether or not it was just from one, one grandparent or a mixture of the grandparents, it's like equivalent to having one, my mother having at least one grandparent being from the Mediterranean. And then in one generation, you know, and then when it comes to me, the um, great granddaughter in this in this case, it be removed. There's no indication there, nothing, you know. So, um, why this is telling is that, see, in part of our spirit journeys, you know, we want to find out who we are, what our origins are. We may have like um, oral, oral history, and then someone says, "Oh, you know, Grandma came from this place, or her people came from such and such place." And then when you um, do DNA, and you don't find anything, you know. And here, I, you know, my mother. You know, luckily my mother is still alive, and she was nice enough to give a sample and to to. To find out, you know, so um, you know some of us we told things, and then you know we have no proof. You know, we might just have oral, oral history, and then when we do a DNA, thinking, oh yeah, we got all these records of this and that, and then, boom, you get a, a DNA test, and uh, it's like saying, you know, nothing. So, you know, 
I, I just thought this was really telling. So it might look like someone's just making up a story. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you see, you see throughout, throughout uh, YouTube, people sharing their, their findings and everything. And um, they say, hey, how come we can't find a, a certain DNA that, you know, oral history says that we have this, mu you know, th that this person had this background and then nothing. So it makes them look like they're telling a fib. <laughs> So, well, I, I never knew, you know, about the, I know on my, my father's side that uh, they, they have, um, you know, s Southern Europe, you know, uh, from Portugal. And, um, but outside of that, you know, I, I don't know of anybody from there. And, and for my mom to have that much, and she doesn't, she definitely does, doesn't know about that. We were told from Eastern Europe. So not even that was being um, showed on the screen, you know? So, you know, all of history and science, sometimes, sometimes they don't match up. But um, it goes to show you that science is not an exact tool. And part of our spirit journey is, you know, like, I want to try to investigate and be in the know rather than having, being in the faith, you know. Um, so how do, we, how do we find out? How do we get into the know rather than the faith, you know. So um, I just say keep good records of your, you know, your family tree. And, um, hey, try to talk to your parents or even grandparents if they're willing to do, um, take a DNA sample, you know. So it's unfortunate that my father's no longer around, you know, he passed away. And uh, it would have been interesting what his DNA showed, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I know even less about my father. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this video and uh, again, science and oral, oral history may not add up and you know, you start to wonder what science is really measuring when they measure DNA. Okay, so peace to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.